Hi everyone, welcome to TimeNet CPOC Lab Training Videos. This is a session on Windows Server Update Services or WSUS on Windows Server 2008 R2. Patch management of uh, a Windows environment is one of the uh, most critical things that we have to do in, in networks. Because patches come from internet, every PC has to download patches and install it for better performance. But there can be some faulty patches also that uh, can cause the performance of our, our computers. For example, if some beta level of patches come, uh, come out of the Windows update and it, it gets into uh, our, one of our servers and because of that patch, uh, the performance of our server comes down. So that can be a problem for our network. So in that case, a flexible and uh, effective patch management system is necessary for all Windows networks. For this purpose, we use Windows Update Services, uh, software or server update services, to which we will install a server which will work as an update server for our network. And that server will download patches and updates for all the Windows or Microsoft products in our network and will save it to its own hard disk. And when the computers try to get the updates, when the Windows update pro uh, service runs on the client machines on the ser other servers on our network, it will connect to this server in our network to download the patches. So there are also facilities in this software with which we can we can approve the patches which we have already tested on some computers so we can approve the patches uh, according to our will so that no faulty pack packages gets into our network and gets installed to our servers or computers this will bring down the the risk of our network getting uh, faulty updates and and getting into a downtime because of that now let's have a look how we can configure this WSUS on a Windows Server 2008 R2 machine Let's see how we can configure this Windows software update services on Windows Server 2008 R2 to do the patch management on a Windows 7 machine. I have one DC in which I have installed Active Directory. The name of my domain is condoso.local. It's a local domain. I'm not using it for any anything outside my local area network. So it's a condoso.local domain and uh, I have another WSUS server which will which I will configure as a WSU SUS server and um, this is also a Windows Server 2008 R2 machine and I have joined this machine to the Contoso.local domain. I have one more machine which is configured with Windows 7 and this one also is joined to my domain Contoso.local. So I have one DC with Contoso.local domain and I have one member server which is a Windows Server 2008 R2 which I will configure as a WSUS server and I have a Windows 7 machine which I will use as a client machine for this WSUS server. So let's see how we can configure this. I am on the DC now and uh, there is not much configurations that we have to do in the DC. Uh, I have just created a domain, normal users, I haven't added anything additional to it. I have added two PCs, one WSUS and one client machine to this and there are no extra configuration that I have done but um, one more thing that you have to keep in mind is that uh, the server which is which you are going to configure as the WSUS server should be getting internet connection means it has to connect to internet to download the updates for the client machines so uh, make sure to configure your DNS server uh, accordingly and uh, make sure that your DNS server can resolve public domain names uh, like uh, here you can see in the cache lookups it has already cached the lookups for Microsoft and Windows update all these kind of things so make sure that you have you have you have configured this uh, the root hints for the, your server and uh, the DNS server has a connectivity to, uh, towards the internet and uh, by this means you, if even if you even if your uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 WSUS machine is, uh, we are we are not giving a public DNS server to it. Uh, we can give the IP address of this machine, this DC, as the uh, DNS server, which will be able to resolve the domain name for them. <laughs> Make sure that uh, all the DNS and everything is working, 
and it is able to resolve names which are there in the internet and uh, now I will go to the WSUS server and we will in install and configure WSUS on it this is the WSUS server on which I will install uh, the role and I will configure it so I have internet connection on it if I try a ping to google.com I'll get reply so it has an internet connection it is confirmed and now what I have to do is I have to add the WSUS role into it you to click add role next Windows Server Update Services or Software Update Services also it is called you can click on next next IAS will be automatically installed with it you can click on next next install in some cases it, it will need connection with the internet uh, so that it can download the latest installation packages for this so uh, server update services and uh, right now you can see here that it is downloading from the internet so it is downloading the server update service package from the internet and then it will install it so in the middle of the download uh, you will see by just when the download is completed and when the installation starts of the actual WSUS uh, program you will see a wizard coming up like this saying welcome to Windows Server Update Services 3.0 service pack to set a wizard uh, you can use this wizard to configure the uh, WSUS you have to click on next and accept the license agreement click on next again so it tells us a warning uh, that Microsoft report viewer 2008 is not installed this is actually used for viewing the reports after the patch management uh, so that you can get a detailed report about which all PCs has been installed with the patches and which all PCs has been rejected uh, by the patches and, and this kind of report so uh, we can sp skip that by clicking on next and uh, it's asking us where you want to save all the updates that are downloaded by this server so what this server d does is it will download the updates from the internet for each clients and each programs that you you will select in the further process and it will save the, those updates into this WSUS folder and afterwards when the clients connect to this server they will dispatch or they will publish this folder to the network so that the clients can access the updates which they want from this folder so you can specify a place a folder where you want to save the updates you can install Windows internal database on this computer if you have a SQL server running you can use an SQL server also but in my case I am only using a Windows internal database and uh, I'll click on next a website is needed a website for connecting the clients is needed because the clients connect to the server using this uh, link http colon slash wsus and the port will be et so um, ias is needed so we can use the default ias web website that we have now i'll click on next and uh, next now the installation process is starting the installation process is almost complete now the update service wizard has finished we can click on finish to continue the configuration so the installation of WSUS is finished we can click on close but again we have one more wizard which is the Windows Server Update Service Configuration Wizard which will help us to go through the process of selecting which all operating systems and which all programs are there which need to be patched in our network so here we will select which updates are to be downloaded by this server we will click on next yes I would like to join update improvement program if you don't want you can uncheck it click on next synchronize from Microsoft update click next use a proxy if there are no proxy you do not have to use it click next choose language now you can click on start connecting to check the connectivity between the 
server and the update Microsoft update website you click on start the connection is established now we can click on next and um, here you can see which old language packs you need for this uh, downloads for these updates so if you select any other languages the updates in that language also will be downloaded so I am selecting only English and I'll click on next now here I can select the products which needs to be updated or the products which uh, needs to be patched using this WSUS server so I will select only Windows Server 2008 R2 Windows 7 and uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 I will select and click on next and I will only download critical updates and click on next synchronize manually or synchronize automatically if I click on synchronize automatically and give a time at that particular time the synchronization will happen automatically or otherwise you can choose to synchronize manually and uh, you can you, but you have to synchronize uh, it manually every time so I'll click on next I will select the begin in, in initial synchronization here for starting the synchronization now itself so that we can see which all updates we are getting uh, up updates are getting installed I'll click on next and finish so the installation and configuration of the SUS server is completed now uh, we can see what we have inside the console you can get the console either from here itself or from administrative tools windows server update services so i can select unapproved any updates and i can see this much updates are there for my windows 7 and windows server 2008 r2 machine they are also in the critical updates i can select any and click refresh to see which all updates are available for me and it says not approved because each of these update has to be approved by me or the administrator to get installed on the machine so if you expand the computers and click on all computers you will not see any computers here right now because there are still some configurations which are needed uh, for finding out the computer automatically by this SUS server so let's have a look at that option synchronization is succeeded now we can have a look at how we can configure the group policy so that the Windows 7 computers or any other computers that has joined this domain will find out that this is the server or this WSUS server is the one which is providing the updates for our environment for that uh, you have to install the group policy management from the WSUS server itself so you have to go to the features and you have to install group policy management and click next install you can click close when you are finished and close the server manager also and go to start administrative tools and group policy management as you are connected to the forest you will be automatically connecting the group policy to the forest itself you can expand the forest expand the domains and see that there is a default group policy which is associated with the domain and uh, you can right click and click on edit and in the computer configurations in, under the windows components you'll be able to see windows update here you will be able to see several settings that you can enable in the case of windows update and what we have to enable here is automatic updates you have to enable automatic updates you have to click ok after that then you have to specify intranet microsoft update service location here you have to enable this and you have to type in the name of the server http colon slash slash wsus dot contoso dot com here the same thing http 
colon slash slash wsus dot contoso dot local i made a mistake in the previous one it's contoso dot local okay so uh, this was the setting that we have to do in the uh, group policy so you can uh, go to the command prompt and type in gp update space slash force to make sure that this policy is up updated now itself and uh, the clients will be getting it now so we are almost through the configuration we have completed most of the configurations that are needed for our uh, ws us server to work so we will go to the client machine now and we will see uh, whether it is working or not i am in the windows 7 machine which has been added to the domain and i hope the group policy has been uh, updated to this machine otherwise just to make sure uh, make just restart the machine or just type in gp update once again in the machine just like this gp update so that you can make sure that your policy is forced into this machine in normal production environment this will automatically get updated into the clients in course of time it will take some time some more time than this but for our lab scenario we can just update it manually i'll click i'll close and uh, i'll go to control panel category large icons and and now check for the windows update click on windows update and uh, here it says windows is up to date and uh, you are you received updates from the administrator says they're managed by your administrator that is the setting that we have now see some of the update has been installed from the server and the windows is updated now so our wsus server is working fine it is giving updates to the clients on the network and this is how it works i hope this video was informative for you and uh, thank you for watching for more videos and online trainings please visit www.timenet.co.in and to know more about our real time training facility the cpoc lab please log on to www.facebook.com/cpoclab thank you for watching the video